Hello everyone, it's Dr. Dave. Hopefully you're all doing well. You had a wonderful start to your week and you're looking forward to a great Tuesday here in the middle of March. Coming at you on behalf of the Toronto Neck and Back Pain Clinic with your daily health update. It's Tuesday, March the 16th, 2021. Gonna look at six areas of health and wellness with you to again, again together today. And uh, somewhere around this video, you can read through all six areas. If you'd like a copy, you can DM us on social, send us an email here at the clinic, or give us a call. We'll be sure to get that to you. Not gonna treat, diagnose, or prevent, or cure any illness or disease with our time together today. However, I do promise you that somewhere inside this information is a little bit of a nugget that will get you thinking about your own health and wellness for today, maybe influence those th choices, thoughts, decisions, and actions you're taking with your own health and wellness or maybe for the health and wellness of those around you, and uh, it will all work out well, if not better than good. All right, so um, a few areas we're gonna touch on briefly, uh, like the journal Cancer, February 2021, came out with a report that too much light at night may increase risk for thyroid cancer. So better to sleep in the dark. Um, the highest exposure of light from this um, uh, light exposure had up to a 55% increased risk for thyroid cancer. So you may wanna uh, read into that and see what that study means and um, how it could impact your health and wellness. The journal Nutrients, uh, obviously talking about diet, which is kinda cool, February 2021, talked about low vegetable, high sodium diets and they're linked to diabetic retinopathy. So uh, of course what we eat is good for our whole body, all the cells and tissues, including our eyes. And you may want to read about how that connection uh, is a problem, especially for people with type 2 diabetes and have had it for a while, all right? Um, but also on the food side of things, according to the Maternal and Childhood Nutrition Journal, February 2021, kids who play sports eat healthier foods. According to a recent literature review, children and teenagers who play after school sports are more likely to follow a healthy dietary pattern. So there's a positive spin. It's that upward spiral we want for our health. You engage in one good thing, it could lead to another good thing, and then all those good things lead to good health and a good life. Uh, and apparently kids who play sports, well, they just uh, prefer somehow naturally maybe to eat healthier foods, which is like a parent's blessing, a blessing to the parents, right? Traits of successful individuals is what they talked about in the, journal, in the magazine or report from Entrepreneur, February 2021, about mental health and wellness. And sometimes when we're working towards our goals, dreams, desires, and ambitions, it's good to have some support in terms of information and things we can do. So people who uh, tend to do well in this area have some clear-cut goals. They strive to, they have a strong drive to achieve those goals, a willingness to learn, patience, and discipline. So of course, every individual is different. For some people, goals work well, and it's good to have some kind of goal, whether short-term or long-term, medium-term. But it's also how those goals are approached and viewed. For some people, goals actually don't work as well, um, but that they have other strong strategies that support them along the way. They have a very day-to-day -day focus, uh, and they put everything into each day very well, and it moves them forward based on maybe some uh, uh, idea of where they wanna go but not necessarily a goal, which is interesting. However, it's good to work on some strategies, day-to-day -day living always, to support your mental health and wellness, and a little report there from the magazine Entrepreneur. Carbon monoxide detectors are very important. The Nebraska Regional Poison Center, February 2021, came up with uh, some following tips uh, some tips to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. There was a case just recently here in Toronto where some people who lived in an apartment above a garage um, had it just recently installed brand new carbon monoxide detectors and within two months there became an issue that they detected and were able to safely uh, get out of the building uh, before it became a problem for them because uh, carbon monoxide poisoning is indeed a silent killer. So the detectors are very, very valuable. So um, make sure you have one on every level of your house. It uh, when you get them installed or you put them in. Have fuel burning appliances serviced regularly. Never use a charcoal grill or hibachi uh, indoors. Never leave a vehicle running in an attached garage. Don't sit in a running vehicle in deep snow or mud that blocks the exhaust pipe and run generators a safe distance from your house. There are probably some other good tips that you could look up, but if you do not have a carbon monoxide detector in your home, 
then probably a good idea to get one. And I believe now in Ontario, uh, it may, in fact, if fire alarms definitely, I think, are part of the law, but carbon monoxide detectors may be as well. So good idea to get one, even if it's not, but I think it is, it should be, it doesn't hurt. And finally, uh, the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, January 2021, looked at manual therapy to help improve how well your neck moves. Among a group of 48 neck pain patients, researchers observed that the combination of neck-specific exercises and manual therapies applied to the upper cervical spine, the upper neck, led to greater improvements in neck pain and, and neck range motion than exercise alone. Of course, many therapists provide uh, manual therapy from mobilization and manipulation to soft tissue techniques and otherwise and in the neck, and uh, all of them have some benefits. So if you are noticing that neck is not moving quite as well as it used to, is getting a little bit stiff or sore or tight, and especially if there's any pain, uh, any discomfort going into the shoulders, arms, hands and fingers, numbness and tingling included, then good to get that checked. There is hope for improvement. All right, that's your daily health update for Tuesday. Hope you're having a good week and that uh, your day goes well if it's not already over by the time you see this and that uh, tomorrow's Wednesday, middle of the week. Once again, it'll be a good one for you, I bet. And uh, we'll catch up with you then again with another video for your daily health update. All right, you guys take care of each other out there. I'll see you soon.